Hi friends, welcome to Tasty with a Twist. I'm so happy you joined me today. Well, today we are making lemon cake. I really hope you try this recipe, it's really good. And as usual, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. For the ingredients, we have very simple ingredients. Like I always say, cooking shouldn't be a hassle. Very simple ingredients, very simple recipes, and you have nice tasty food. Let's get started. We have six ounce all-purpose flour, six ounce butter or margarine, six ounce sugar, three eggs, one lemon. We are gonna use this for the zest and also to get the lemon juice and then one teaspoon baking powder for starters i'm sifting my flour you do this to remove the knots out of the flour and also to make the flour nice and airy that makes the cake nice and fluffy Done. I'm adding in the sugar. You can use regular sugar or you can use caster sugar. And then I'm going to add in the margarine. Crack my three eggs. This is the baking powder. Now to zest my lemon, I'm going to use a grater. You just want the yellow part of the lemon not the white part because the white part tends to get bitter just the yellow part is the zest and this is what it looks like after you've removed the zest now we have this amount of zest Not a whole lot. It's always better to use organic lemons if you have that available because that has a stronger flavor. Yeah. So with the same lemon, I'm going to cut it in half. And juice it so that I can use the juice from it. If you don't have a juicer like this, you can just squeeze the lemons and just make sure you take out the seeds. And that's a lot of lemon juice. We don't need all of that. We just need one tablespoon. Now we're going to toss in all our wet ingredients. I'm going to put in the eggs. One tablespoon lemon juice. And the lemon zest. And that's just going to give flavor to the to the cake. It's a lemon cake, so you want the lemon flavor in there. For more lemon flavor, you may add a little bit more zest, or you may add lemon flavor from the store. Now I'm going to mix this together. I'm just going to beat it for like two minutes. I've already set my oven to 325 degrees and this is going to be baked in 50 to 60 minutes. If you want to use an electric whisk, 
just one minute to mix it is enough. But and this should be okay now. Now for the baking tin, you just need a five by seven baking tin or maybe a nine by seven baking tin for this amount of cake. I'm gonna wrap it generously with margarine so the cake doesn't get stuck in. You can also put in a baking liner so your cake doesn't get stuck in. But today I'm just gonna use just the margarine. Just spread it out. And that's it. I'm just gonna get this in the pan. My oven is already ready. So I will get this in the oven right away. Once you're done with this, you want to make a little hollow in the middle of the cake so that when it rises, it doesn't heap up in the middle. And that's it. Our oven is ready, 325 degrees, and we'll get it in. I just took the cake out, it's been 50 to 60 minutes. I'm just going to put a toothpick right in the middle, bring it out, and look at it. If it's nice and dry, that means the cake is nicely done. We're going to let this sit for about five minutes, and then we'll take it out of the pan. I'm going to put it on a rack. For the glaze, we are going to use two tablespoons of lemon juice. You can use that same lemon. Once you squeeze it out, you're going to get a lot of lemon juice. Two tablespoons of that. And confectioner's sugar. This is about six ounces of confectioner's sugar. I'm sifting that into a bowl. And then we'll mix it with the lemon juice and our glaze will be ready. I'm going to stir in the lemon juice. So all the sugar is nicely melted. So this is how the glaze becomes nice and smooth. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. Our cake is right here. Because I didn't put in a liner, I'm just going to use this spatula to make sure the sides are nice and free so that when you take it out, it will be nice and easy. Now you just turn this over in your hand. Now we are going to glaze a cake and you would realize I put it on a rack you just need to just glaze it anyhow you like whatever design you choose is fine just go across it like that and let it drip over you can also cover the whole cake with a glaze if you like So try this recipe if you like it to subscribe to my channel click the notification button so you get every recipe i make thank you for watching